What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I met up with Riley and Jordan, and even though it was raining, we were all stoked to get a little dive in. The visibility turned out to be a lot better than I thought. And there was plenty of fish in the shallows, like this very camouflaged cabazon. It wasn't long before I found a nice school of rockfish. I decided to pick one of them off to secure some food and get some momentum going. This fish dodged my spear like Neo from the Matrix. Whenever I see terrain like this, I feel like there's gotta be octopus hiding somewhere. There's just so many rocks and boulders and potential dens for them to be hiding in. They're such masters of disguise though. I've only ever seen one before this dive. see any link out on this dive except for this one juvenile. I've read that crabs are octopus's favorite prey, so I figure areas where there are many crabs present would be a good place to search for them. for about an hour and a half and we were making our way back to the beach. I'd taken my fins off at this point and was walking across the reef when something caught my eye in this little tide pool. My battery was low and the GoPro shuts off mid-clip, but I just managed to capture this epic moment, my first octopus, in about a foot and a half of water. Here. You see him? He's right here. Riley, come, come, come. Oh my god, I got him. No way. I got him. What? Oh, he's fucking.
I think I got really lucky and I was in the right place at the right time. I only noticed this when I looked at the footage, but this octopus was hunting a crab when I found it. He lost a claw, but I saved that crab's life that day. So the GoPro cut out just as I saw this guy and I was going to go for it. And there you have it. My first octopus. I don't know how heavy that is. It's got to be like, that's got to be like 15 pounds, honestly. Yeah. So crazy that it was just in this tide pool. Check this out. So this is what we gotta gotta we gotta scrub that that stuff off. We're just we'll be left with just the tentacles. All right, guys. So pretty huge octopus. Um, we'll take it here and basically section it out. We'll do it in sections. I think it'll be easier to manage. So I'm just gonna cut the eyes out. Okay, so here's the here's that section. Eyeballs. Oh shit. Squirt it all over me. There's the eyes. There's an ink. Oh man, that's, I think this is a whole ink sack right here, possibly. Mm. 
think I just need to grab all of this. This whole sack here, separated from this, this is that white meat, that's what you want. That's its heart? I don't know. Looks like, but isn't it its own heart? No, it's its own brain. That must be its heart. Holy, look at the size of it. Here, I'll focus. It's, it's focused. Octopus heart. I think. It looks like a heart. That's crazy. Do you want a bowl of water to rinse it? I oh, don't know. Yeah, you probably do. Oh, no, you've got a hose. <clears throat> So it looks like that was the beak, right in the center. This is very messy. So this stuff is really hard to... I've been trying to work it with my, with my hands and kind of pull that membrane off. You could see this is the, the meat that we're after, just underneath it, but super gooey on the outside. So what I'm going to try to do now is uh, this method that I've seen online. Uh, and it's basically just putting coarse salt in with, with it uh, and scrubbing it. And basically a lot of that should, should separate. So we'll give that a try and see how we go. We got our sea salt bowl that's the kind of head section the, the dome I don't know if that's the right um, term for it we'll just put salt in there we'll just start kind of scrubbing it It's all skin right there. So yeah, we just uh, keep working it. We've got nice coarse salt. And yeah, it kind of wants to separate. Let's see, you can kind of grab it more easy now. Uh, kind of pull it. More of that membrane off. Okay, we'll just keep working it for a bit. Super interesting texture. That's what it looks like when the skin comes off. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Getting big chunks of this membrane off at a time. It's a nice sizable chunk right there. This is not like fish, guys. This is this is next level. God, I really wish my GoPro was on for that. Oh. Did you check? No. It. I think I might have a glimpse of it while it was in the pool. Mm. Haven't looked at the GoPro footage yet. 
but like it shut off right at that moment. I'm so gutted. Oh yeah, it's coming right off way easier now. Just gotta spend some time with it and kind of scrub a dub dub. Props to the people that figured out how to originally do this. This seems to be the prevalent method of cleaning it, whether you want to do sashimi or whether you want to grill it. You kind of have to use salt to get that membrane off and then blanch it so you're like half cooking it. Even if, even for sashimi, it's like, it's not, it's never fully raw. So you just get it to that point and then from there you can grill it or you can sashimi or whatever. Alright, so just rinse it off so that I could kind of see uh, how my progress was and it's looking pretty good. There's still, I spent about, I don't know, seven, eight minutes on that and that's where we're at. I'm not sure if you're supposed to try to get 100% clean on this. Having a little bit on there is probably not gonna be the end of the world, but. There you go. So we've moved on to a tentacle now. Salt in the bowl and rubbing it down. Getting this membrane off. The boys have arrived and getting a fire going. And the sun's going down. You see what I did? Yeah. I just did it like when I got the certification. Oh, you have the certification. Oh, yeah. Fuck, it's just white. Like, oh, I see. Yeah. Ah. You want that all white. This pull action is working real good. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's crazy. Go on, not for you. We're just gonna make a dry rub with some seasoned salt, paprika, cayenne pepper, and some garlic powder. That's our rub. So this is the oil from the fish uh, that we just baked, and we're gonna use that oil up these here, so, Ooh. let's that with oil. Rubbed, oiled, ready for the, uh, for the sauna. It's a happy dome. For the sauna. <laughs> Close that. Two minutes aside. 
watch the clock. Timer. Oh yeah, that looks good, eh? Oh, perfectly charred. That's what's up. Alright. Oh yeah. I'd say that's... Oh, that smells so good. It's pretty good, eh? I Come on, it's man. Pretty, it's good, eh? That's good. Yeah, I think like the, the boiling, this process is like, I, I see. Every step is worth it. That smells so good, oh my god. Oh yeah, she's hot. I think it's, I think it's good. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, that is perfect. You think it's good? Oh yeah. yeah. I like to do it so that the ends are just like crispy like that. Best. Oh, look at how aesthetic that is, bro. That's beautiful. That's a what's the golden, golden means, The golden, uh, golden, golden tentacle. Means, right? Yeah, the golden <laughs> tentacle. It's perfect. Look at that, eh? Oh, dude, the crunchy bit. That's the best part. So that is. Also, we're sipping on the Hazy IPA from Juicy Beta, and it's bomb. It's bomb.com. How's that look? Bomb. Bomb.com. Bomb. 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 Okay, that piece, cause that's the fucking old. It's the winter bed. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Let me just enjoy it. <laughs> it's that good. Nice. No, it's delicious though. Wicked. Straight. <laughs> 